Numbers of an iconic member of the Grouse family have fallen below 1,000 in Scotland and could plummet further, a new report warns. Only 542 of the Capercaillie, a huge woodland grouse, are estimated to be left in the country, according to the latest national survey led by RSPB Scotland. Scotland's population of the bird has dropped around 50% since the last survey six years ago and is now at a critically low level, the survey has found. Numbers of Capercaillie have been declining since the third national survey of 2003-04, but this is the first time since the survey began that the population has dipped below 1,000. Scotland is the only place in the UK where the Capercaillie, the world's largest grouse, is found. Most are in the Cairn Gorms National Park in Scotland's Highlands. Largely due to loss of their woodland habitat, although they were reintroduced from Sweden to Scotland the following century. The rare bird, which reaches up to 3 feet long and 4.3 kilograms in weight, is known for violent fights between males during breeding season. Capercaillie became extinct in Scotland in the 1700s. But the bird could vanish for a second time due to cold and wet spring weather that affects breeding, as well as hunting and loss of habitat. Male Capercaillie are mainly grey in colour and have reddish-brown wings with a white patch on the shoulder. The head, neck and breast are tinged with blue. Scroll down for video, the Capercaillie is the largest member of the game bird family. It resides in the pinewoods of Scotland, but is occasionally found in mature oakwoods. And the eye is highlighted by a ring of red skin. Males also have a beard, most noticeable during courtship displays, and a long tail. Females have brown plumage with striations all over the body and a reddish-brown patch on the breast. The UK Capercaillie population has declined so rapidly that it is at very real risk of extinction, for the second time, and is a red list species. Source. Scottish Wildlife Trust. RSPB Capercaillie are described as very shy and elusive birds often perching in trees or hidden away on the forest floor. But during breeding season, the males can engage in bloody fights. Experts are calling on agencies to work together to try to help the birds, which have been hunted down for their meat. Since a decline in numbers there has been a ban by landowners on shooting capercaillie and it's illegal to shoot them, although this doesn't seem to be reversing the decline. Scotland's Capercaillie population is surveyed every six years, and this, the sixth survey, was conducted over the winter of 2021-22. This up-to-date estimate of Capercaillie numbers reveals just how vulnerable the population in Scotland is, said Nick Wilkinson, conservation scientist at RSPB Scotland. Previous surveys have seen numbers fluctuating between around 1,000 and 2,000 birds so it's really worrying that the results from last winter indicate there are only an estimated 542 individuals remaining now. These results will help focus efforts on where action should be targeted to help Capercaillie by identifying their strongholds and where the most impact can be made for them. Conservation scientists said the decline is being fueled by a combination of factors that reduce Capercaillie survival and breeding success. These include cold, wet spring weather which has an impact on the fitness of female birds before the breeding season and affects chick survival. Insect shortages may also cause poor rates of chick survival. The Capercaillie genus, officially known as Tetrao, contains two species black-billed Capercaillie, Tetrao urogaloides, found in Siberia, Mongolia and China, and the western Capercaillie, Tetrao urogalis, found in Scotland, Europe and western Russia.